Hi everyone. So today we have uh, Touch ID uh, iPhone 6s. You can see. Okay, this is the Touch ID of the iPhone 6s. We have a problem. the uh, The phone was water damaged, and the water got got in the the Touch ID itself. So I opened this place. So I. Uh, here we have the uh, button, home button, and there it goes the flex over here. I'm gonna show you a little bit better so you can see what I mean. Okay, let's put the light. Okay, this is the home button, and here goes the flex to here. Here we have the crystal or the sensor of the touch ID, and here we have. Here we have four uh, capacitors that uh, that was damaged when the water damage got in, and they are in uh, short mode. Uh, so they are shorted here. Uh, how did I know that when I uh, connected the Touch ID to to the phone, uh, it gets uh, really uh, hot, uh, and then it stops heating up. So uh, I had uh, an idea that maybe here it's the problem because I saw all of the flex, all of the touch ID, uh, everything is okay, everything is good. So uh, I I had a suspect that maybe or one of those uh, capacitor maybe uh, it's shorted on the touch ID. That's why uh, the touch ID stopped working. So it's um, it's not working at all. Touch ID. It's just uh, gray, and I can't add any touch uh, any fingerprint. So uh, I'm gonna show you first of all that uh, what uh, how is the problem, and uh, then I'm gonna test those capacitors. And we are going to replace them. Uh, first of all, I'm going to show you how is the problem. So you can believe me that I'm not lying to you. That uh, it's seriously, it's damaged. And it's not working. Okay, so I'm going to connect the home button. Okay. And then I'm going to connect it to the... Board. I tested the, the connector that on the board everything is okay uh, we don't have a short on the connector itself uh, so everything is okay and everything is connected and as it should be okay so we are gonna turn it on uh, I can't make you feel that but I assure you that it's it's getting hot it's really getting hot. So as you can see, the touch ID is not working. I'm going to show you again. You see, it's gray. We can add it in the JD. Okay, so now I'm gonna turn it off. Never remove the battery connector with the tweezer, always with your finger or a plastic thing you have. So we are going to test th those capacitors and we are going to try to replace them. I have uh, another touch ID here. The board is, uh, I, I suppose it's iCloud or damage, I don't remember. But uh, the touch ID here is not water damage and everything is okay. <coughs> okay. So we are going to start with the damaged one. So in my light there is 
a problem with my light, the backlight of the microscope. Sometimes, sometimes it's not working properly. So what we are gonna do? So this whole thing don't move, and everything is okay. I'm gonna tape it a little bit so it doesn't move while we are working. And we are gonna start working. First of all, I'm gonna clean this up. Tape it is not gonna tape itself very well if it's there is a lot of junk. I do a lot of Touch ID fixes, but I don't show most of them because sometimes it doesn't happen like you planned. You know, you you see the problem, you see that where is the damage, and you start fixing it. it, then goes worse and worse, and then you end up with damaged Touch ID. Well, it's, it's not going to be worse than it was, but at least you tried and you learned how to fix it in the next time without damaging the Touch ID more and more. So, all of this is learning and learning and learning, and you are learning more and more. Every day I have new fixes, I have new problems, new uh, new damages, and every day we have a new lesson to learn. Okay, so now it's on diet mode, you hear that? And we are gonna, uh, this all of the, all of those four are capacitors. Now we're gonna see if they are uh, shorted. This one is not shorted, it shows 420. The second one is shorter, as you can hear replace the battery on the multimeter. Here is shorted too, as you can hear. And the third one is shorted too. So we have three shorted uh, capacitors. Uh, now we're, what we are gonna do, we are gonna clean this up, all of those, all of this uh, glue. This is a glue, I suppose. We're gonna clean it very, very carefully so we don't damage the flex. This is the flex, this is called the flex, and this is the sensor that it sends the fingerprint. So we are, we are not gonna apply any heat here, we're gonna do it very, very carefully. So we don't damage anything and take your time. Nobody is running after you with this work. So you can carefully do all of this. I'm gonna replace all of them. I don't like the way this one looks. So I'm gonna replace all of them. Maybe uh, by time it's gonna damage more and more. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do it really really carefully and go, I'm gonna replace all of them. That's the best thing. I know I promise a lot of people to show you uh, my uh, all of my instruments, my tweezers, my workstation, and something like that. And I know I didn't do a video, I promise I'm gonna do, I'm just uh, really busy lately, I don't have time for myself even, I come to work, I stay late and I don't have time for myself, believe me, I'm not lying, okay. 
this so you can see I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more Gonna solder them like that very carefully. Do not apply a lot of heat and do not solder to wall. So you can you you don't damage you don't damage the board or uh, the uh, sensor. So you we are gonna clean this up. Now you see we have a beautiful, beautiful do I'm gonna take all of that old solar with the wick really fast so I don't damage the first sensor the HMD sensor like like super fast see so we have here full thing as you can see This, all of the, uh, you don't see, maybe I see it. Uh, this line here is connected with each other. So this must be the uh, ground. And we, uh, after we remove the capacitors, we are going to try it. Here we have a short. Hmm. I wonder if this must be like this. So now we are gonna test this. And the other pressure, the donor one, the one that we are gonna take from our capacitors. <coughs> This place must be short, or oh, we have a short somewhere else. Mm. You can see the there is no short right here, so this place doesn't have to be shorted. But the problem is I don't know where that goes. So, we're gonna try to replace those bad vessels, and then with that one, um, I can see what I, what I can do.
I lost it. I lost the third one. That's bad. That's really bad. Now I'm gonna solder it back without the uh, hot air. I'm gonna solder it with the soldering iron so we don't hit everything here. Okay, first one, we've got, sorry you can see it, I'm gonna try from a different angle. seeing it now I'm gonna show you how the second one I'm gonna solder it it's gonna be beautiful I'm gonna add a little bit of solder. Just making sure that everything is soldered in its place. I'm gonna look for another picture of this so I can steal those pieces. Oh, yeah, I have another one. Yes, I have another one. Okay, now, it's so bad that there is no one that makes Touch ID schematics. That's very, very bad, very sad. I was, I wanted. Here we have the fourth one, the third one, sorry. Okay, we have the third one. I'm gonna try to solder it. So we're gonna add a little bit of blocks there. So everything is okay.
and that's that. And we're gonna clean this up a little bit, and we are gonna test it. Where that goes, where this one goes. Problem is, I don't know. I don't know at all where it goes, so I cannot find the rod in here. Uh, Okay, now we don't have the message that says the Touch ID is not working. That's a good sign. Yes, we have a working Touch ID. I hope so. Oh, come on.
Ну, не изменишь. Там одна дорожка короче, короче. Да, сам солнце. Вы уже е друг? Закройте дверь. Я еще снимаю.
Como que você clica direito?
Thank you. 